Hello and welcome to this Bitwig driving lesson. In this episode about thoughtfulness, I'm going to talk about curves. They are so many, so important and so often overlooked. That's why we pay attention on Achtung Curve. Let's get started. So, hello. In Bitwig there are many curves. Mostly we know it, Mo sometimes we overlook them and sometimes we don't recognize that there are um, curves. Um, I did this video, or I do this video because I saw that sometimes people don't pay attention that there are really very helpful curves and um, I want to show some of them so you may Pay more attention to them because they are very helpful and uh, they can improve your sounds. So uh, one of the curves um, I want to show is a normal ADSR. Um, you have um, those points for your ADSR curve and then you have these middle um, points where you can configure your attack for example more um, convex or concave. So um, uh, the the attack reacts on, on a, in a different way um, what can help you to shape your sound um, even more better and um, the same with the decay and the same with the release here and you see it as well um, when you convert it to polygrid there are the envelopes again on um, amplitude uh, ADSR on filter ADSR and um, you see as well here are the curves and you see it in the inspector on the left side you have those icons and you can configure them directly here or directly here and from this icons there are many in bitwig and you should always pay attention on them because some examples if i take the sampler for example there yeah, you can, or not only the sampler, you have uh, uh, modulators and you have the four stage, you have those curves. You can curve it here like convex concave. This looks wrong. Could be the other way around, I think. I don't know. This feels right. <laughs> nice. Maybe this is right. I have to look for that. So you, you have those little icons here where you can configure it. Then you have an AHDSR as well with um, those um, points as well. And you have those icons. And on those icons you can configure that as well, like here. So normally you don't use those icons because um, you see that dot here, you uh, grab this dot and move it around, that's okay. But for example on the sampler, on this ADSR, there are those icons as well. And those icons you can move as well around. And um, often people overlook that, that those icons are as well configurable. So that could really improve your sound. And um, for example, with the uh, E head, there's as well such an icon, and this is as well a curve that you can configure. And um, these, um, no, it's here. The polysynth uh, doesn't have something like that, but the polysynth, for example, like um, all standard or most standard devices of Bitwig, uh, standard um, synth of Bitwig, have those vibrato modulator and this verbatim modulator you don't have such an icon but you have something else in the inspector you have this um, icon in the pitch and if you click on the pitch you have something like presets how the pitch should react on when you turn it on or you fade it in for example and um, those are those little icons little curves that makes your life so easy and your sound much more beautiful and I think this is worth it to pay attention on the devices where you have those um, curves and use them because um, you can be far more precise than just, for example, use HDNR, uh, HDSR like that. So and if you want to shape a sound uh, with an envelope, um, yeah, 
you always should pay attention to that for example here but i think you know that is as well um a curve that you could um shape here while using um this filter envelope dev for example that's it that's all i hope you make great sounds beautiful sounds hope to see you again uh, stay healthy see you bye bye Habe ich das jetzt gar nicht aufgenommen? Paul Orst. Warum? Ich habe das nicht aufgenommen gerade eben. Ich habe das aufgenommen.